What's up guys? Today we are going to check out another potential Airbnb property that I am going to look at to purchase. It's a $1.5 million home in Henderson. This home's been on the market almost 30 days now. I've been patiently watching it, trying to see if there's going to be any activity on it. I think it's priced just a touch high. I'm going to take you through it and we're going to see if it's going to be a good investment for me to purchase it or not. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna call this wholesaler. She works for a company here. It's a nationwide wholesaling company. And the reason why we're gonna call her, she has a property in Henderson. It's a two bed, two bath condo. And I buy a lot of properties from wholesalers. These are the best places and people to buy off-market properties from. What she did and what her company did was, this condo was listed on the market for 300,000. And what they do is they offer the agent and the seller a cash offer. I'm gonna guess they offer probably around 220. It's listed for 300. And then what they do is they go and they wholesale it to an investor like me. It's a little trick that investors do, but it's okay. Um, I'm still looking to purchase it. She's trying to sell it to us for 260,000. I think I could get it lower. I've bought a lot of properties from this person before. I'm gonna take you a little behind the scenes of how I talk to these wholesalers and investors and some of the things that I say. This is Ashley. Hi Ashley, how you doing? It's Jason. Hey, how are you? Doing great, doing great. Um, tell me a little bit about this condo. Yeah, so I don't know a ton about it, but the gist of it, um, obviously we got it off MLS, so you can see most of the pictures and stuff on there. Yep. Um, it's tenant occupied through the end of the year. That's probably the biggest caveat that most people are going to have. Mm -hmm. They are currently paying $1,700 a month. And I saw that they have like a property manager. So I'm waiting to get the property manager doc back just to see what that agreement looks like and us negotiating it. We were giving a 5k credit at closing just to kind of counterbalance a potential agreement with the property managers or just putting it towards whatever at 260 it doesn't cash flow at all because it's a 400 hour a month hoa i'm definitely still interested though I, it, it might be just at a lower price so please uh get me over the property management agreement and then can you ask if i were to get a normal loan on it it would take about 30 days if you don't have any offers on it if that's a consideration it's possible um i can put it out there and see what he says okay all right, great, thank you. Once I get that stuff, I'll send it your way. Appreciate it. All right, so we got some information there from her. They know at the price they're trying to sell it for, 260000 it's not really a good deal. They're selling it at 260000 it's worth around 360000 As she said, the caveat, the issue is the tenant, there's a tenant in there paying $1,700 a month, which is a little bit below market rent. So to make it attractive for us, we're gonna have to remove that tenant and up the rent and put a new person in there. The property needs to be remodeled though. So you're really paying 260,000 and then probably another 30,000 to remodel it. So I would probably need this thing around 230,000 and it would be a really good deal for me. So I'll keep you posted and we'll stay tuned on this condo, but let's head to the big potential Airbnb in Henderson. All right, so here in this part of Henderson, like I said, there's no HOA and you could kind of do whatever you want. I'm gonna show you this house. This house, this guy built a little dome over his backyard and he trains people in soccer in this area. You can see he's kind of working on it, but soccer's really big here in Henderson. And so that guy built out a cool little training facility for his son and, and his friends. This area is really cool, I, I like it a lot. Um, I don't know if I would live out here full time, but it's great to buy short-term rentals. All these properties are really new. They, they range from about, probably around $2 million now up to $3.5 million. Guys, what's up? We just got here at the property. So I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna take you through the house right now, but this is a four bed, four bath, over 3,000 square foot, single story home here in Henderson. And so here we're at the front of the house. This house was built only two years ago. It's basically brand new. Look at the size of this driveway. 
So there's a few reasons why I like this house. First, it's on a corner cul-de-sac. So there's only one neighbor to our right, there's no neighbor to the left, and there's no neighbor behind. So if you're gonna do a short-term rental, this is a key factor right here of making sure that you have the least amount of neighbors as possible. This house is also very secure. It, it has this full automatic gate, and so no one can come into the property unless you have the code or the remote. So it's really safe, and it's really tucked in into this little neighborhood. So let's go check it out. All right, come on, let's go take a look. All right, this is a brand new custom built house and I love the way that they designed this. So when you first come in, you have this outside court area. So if you have a dog, he could come and hang out in the sun and do his business. But there's so many different things that you could do with this little space. You have obviously an entrance here that will go into the garage. And then you have a separate entrance here that will go into a casita. So before we even go in the main house, I'm gonna show you the casita part. So this is like a full second house. And this is great for a short term rental. You're definitely gonna want something like this because it's just, if you have a, two big groups or one big group, you could separate or if there's somebody you don't like, you could throw them in the smaller house. But I love what they did. They did all nice tile. This is not LTV, this is hardwood tile. Got the big doorways, elevated ceilings. And so this is like a, another home from home. The only thing it's missing I would put in is a refrigerator. I would maybe put cabinets on the uppers and make it a full kitchen. But this would be the living room, kitchen, and then you have your bedroom and bathroom with a full shower. All right, so let's come inside. Let's go take a look at the main part of the home. So when you walk in, you could just see, boom, open, big layout. We got our buddy Chris over here who's doing an open house today. But this house is freaking sick. So when you do luxury Airbnbs, you're gonna want a layout exactly like this one open layout. You don't want a choppy house because it, if you have a property like this that can house 15, 16 people at one time, everyone can come in and be together. So let's kind of go through it. So with this kitchen, I mean this kitchen is A+. Plus. It's beautiful. You could put stools. You could make uh, tons of food, put it out, and then have a real entertaining party. And so the reason why I like this property so much is it's completely done. It's moving ready. So I love to buy luxury short-term rentals with no construction involved at all. All you would need to do to this property is just furnish it. You would have to put some higher end furnishing in this to make it super attractive for pictures. Don't go cheap and just go buy furniture off Craigslist. You're gonna wanna put high end stuff. What I would do in this space, I would make two living rooms. So over there, you would have your dining room. I would put a really long table to fit around 14 to 16 people. And here's what I would do. I would make two living rooms. I would put a quad box television set. I would put four TVs right here with a nice couch. And then I would reverse it and do something. I would do maybe a huge TV on this side, or I would put a pool table over here for some ga uh, gaming area. All right, so we're here in the primary. They put carpet in this primary bedroom. I would not recommend you do that. I would rip this up and kind of match the tile because this carpet will get crushed, it will get dirty when you have tons and tons of groups coming to stay in this property. As we move along here, I mean, this house is just so clean. It looks awesome. Really nice color sinks. The nice granite counters. I love the brown with the silver hardware. Huge shower. I mean, you could fit two, three people in this thing. The nice glass sliding doors. I mean, this, this, this home is perfect. They did a really nice job building this out. And this would make, as a really cool short-term rental here. And, in Henderson. We're gonna see though if the numbers actually work, if it's a good investment or not. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you into the other bedrooms. 
This is bedroom number two. Again, with the carpet, I would rip this up and put, I love the tile. Look at this gray rectangle tile they did. I love the way this looks. I would just flow that through this bedroom or match the flooring that goes, that tr kind of transitions into it. But really nice bedroom. Has a bathroom attached, which is great. Need that. And then here's bedroom number three. And so bedroom number two and bedroom number three, they flow together. It has a Jack and Jill bathroom. But these, but these ceilings are huge. These are over 20 foot ceilings. This room isn't that big, but it makes it feel really big with the higher ceilings. We have the primary and the two bedrooms over there. And then we have this flex space. I would definitely put two beds in this area. I would put one right here and here or do double bunk beds if we're gonna make this a short term rental. It has great doors so it's secure, it's private. And let's go over here. Man, look at this laundry room. This is sweet. So when you're having a big short term rental like this, you need a good washer dryer because yes, people do come and do their laundry, but they did a nice job with the cabinets. I would even almost maybe get another set of these and stack them or put them next to each other because a lot of people are going to be using this property. Okay, so now we got our garage. Here's what I would do with this space. You saw in the front how much parking there was, so you don't need parking in the garage. I would epoxy this floor, make it really nice, brand new, and then I would turn this into a sweet gym or arcade room because you have so much parking in the front, you don't need the extra parking inside. It'll just give the house more amenities that you could use. Okay, so here in the backyard, this backyard is super freaking cool. What they did was they put a brand new pool in it. There's no obstructions to the pool at all. They put this nice travertine landscaping throughout with turf, but this is a killer, killer backyard for an Airbnb. I really like what they did with it, but here is something really cool. It's kind of not fully developed yet. Let's go take a look. So it's kind of like you're getting two backyards in one. So now here's the second part of the land in the backyard. Look at the size of this lot. So you could do so much with this space. You could put a basketball court, you could turf it, you can make a football field back here, pickleball, that's what I would do. And you could see here with your, na your neighbor's backyard, they put like a little baseball batting cage here. But this space in this area is, has so much potential for an Airbnb. So let's go back to the original yard. So as we're wrapping up this part of the backyard, this is an A plus backyard here in Henderson. Um, I absolutely love it. It kind of gives you like this Miami feel with the white travertine with the in-ground pool with the jacuzzi. I think the only thing that it's missing, it gets really hot here in Henderson, Las Vegas in the summer, would be to build out like a really big overhang with a barbecue and a and a TV and like basically like a full outdoor kitchen. Those are super helpful when you have those in your short term rentals because they make a big return on your investment. People always want to hang outside in your backyard. So if you're going to buy a property like this, you need that. Okay, as we're wrapping up this video, we're going to go over a few things. One, I love this house. This is a really cool house. It's about less than a mile from my big San Gabriel Airbnb, but let's kind of go through the process of what I look for if it would make a good short-term rental investment. This property is four bedrooms and it's eligible for the short-term rental license, meaning that there's no other short-term rental within a thousand square foot radius and there's no HOA. So you're eligible when you buy this property to obtain the short-term rental license. So here are the numbers on it. This property is listed for 1.575. If you were to put 20% down on this property, you would have to lay out $315,000 down plus your closing costs. Bringing our loan amount to 1260, 1.260 on the total rest of your loan. Now, we're gonna go through how much money this property I think will bring in on a monthly basis versus the mortgage. So let's go through it. The mortgage payment on that would be $7,500 a month. 
But don't forget about your taxes, another $900 a month, and your insurance, about another $300 a month, which would bring us to a total monthly payment of $87.50 a month to buy this house. What do I think this could bring in on a monthly basis as a short-term rental? Let's go through it. I have this comp out that this property can definitely obtain $1,200 a night. So what I would do is you would take the $1,200 a night and you would multiply that by 23 nights. You're gonna wanna rent this property out for at least 23 nights. If you get more, great, but it might be a little slower in the winter seasons. So if you do that, your monthly income would be $27,600 a month. So your monthly gross would be $27,600 a month. After all your expenses, you're gonna probably take away 50% of that after you pay your property manager and you do your cleanings and whatnot, and so that would leave you around $13,800. So you would take that $13,800 and subtract from the mortgage payment, $8,750, and this property would cash flow around $5,050 a month. So if we're cash flowing $60,000 a year on this property, that's how much I believe this thing could profit per year. But you're shelling out a big chunk of change, almost $400,000 to get into this. I'm gonna leave you off with this tip. What I would do if I bought this property, I would try to get it for a little bit of a better price and try to get that cash flow up to $10,000 a month of net profit. If you could get that up to $10,000 a month, I would definitely buy this property. And here's how you do it. You would have to create a system to manage it yourself. Paying out that 20%, 25% to a property manager will definitely eat a lot of your profit. So if you're gonna buy this property, I would recommend that you do it yourself because it's a really brand new property and there's not gonna be a lot of issues. So if you're interested in putting an offer on this property, shoot me a DM on Instagram at Real Estate, or leave a comment below of what you think about the short-term rental video tour. I'm Jason Griggs with Griggs Real Estate. Please hit the subscribe button. See you guys on the next one.